Today for primetime local news, I'm joined with Jacqueline Weed with the Big Brothers Big Sisters of Lloydminster to talk about registration opening up for their activity challenge fundraiser coming up. So thank you so much, Jacqueline, for joining us here today. Oh, you're welcome. We do them all the time, so I'm used to it. <laughs> so first off, do you mind letting us know what this activities challenge is all about? Okay, so um, for the last, I would say about 15 years, we did a major fundraiser in the spring called Bowl for Kids. And uh, when COVID hit, we could no longer do that. So because the bowling alley was closed and the restrictions and stuff, but we still needed to find something to raise funds for the agency. So last year we came up with the activity challenge. It was the 50th anniversary of Big Brothers in Lloydminster. So we called it the 50 minute. 50 years for 50 minutes um, activity challenge. And what it meant was that people would sign up to do any activity that you want to do for 50 minutes and you collect pledges. And that's how we raised money and we could do corporate sponsorship as well. And actually it went very well last year. We had businesses that um, everyone paid money for their pledges and then they went for a walk as a group at lunch hour. So it's really easy to do and that's why we picked it. So we, we're going to continue with it as a as a yearly thing. So this year, our activity challenge is taking place between May 6th and May 17th. And so people pick the day that works for them to do their activity. They register with us, tell us what their activity is going to be. So I mean, it could be if they do a regular workout at the gym, it could be if they're weeding the garden or doing yard work, it could be going for a walk, walking the dog. It could be something more structured if they play organized sports. So it's really pretty flexible with what the activity is. And then they just get people to give them pledges. Um, and that's how we raise the money from the team participation. And then we also are taking corporate sponsorships for it. And can you give us a little bit more detail on what a pledge is? So a pledge is just, I would go, if I was in it, I would go to my family and say, I'm taking part in this. Um, would you like to sponsor me? So then they might give me $10, they might give me $20. Um, and then I just, I set a fundraising goal for myself and raise as much money as I can. And then it goes to Big Brothers Big Sisters. And how can people go about participating in this? They can register individually. So if they want to just do it by themselves or their family, their business, a group of friends, and they just need to get in touch with us and let us know what it is that they're going to be doing and what day. And then we can get them the rest of the information that they need for it. And where can people find more information about this activities challenge? They could call or message our Facebook page. Um, either way, we're, we're, we're within reach. It's pretty easy. Um, they could, yeah, that's probably the easiest way. The website might have some information, but it's not as direct of a contact. So if they call the agency or message our Facebook page, we'll be able to get them started. And where will this fundraising be going towards? Uh, just towards our mentoring programs in the agency. We raise almost 50% of our um, operating budget by doing things in the community. So this is a huge piece of that fundraising for us. So it'll be just supporting our mentoring programs that are going on. And you had mentioned it's an activities challenge. So is there specific activities that people need to do or can people just do whatever they want to do for that? Whatever they like. And that's why we found it, uh, it appealed to so many people because if depending on what your activity level is, your mobility level, it's really up to them what the activity is that they take part in. You could jump on the trampoline and, you know, and collect pledges. So it's really wide open. And how do you feel that this fundraiser will help the community? Uh, just it gives us the um, support to recruit mentors, do the screening and training and the matching and support the matches that we have in the agency. So every little bit adds up. And is there anything else that you would like to add or mention about this fundraiser? Um, it, again, you know, people can can sponsor themselves. They can do it individually, do it as a family. We're really pretty flexible on how they would like to take part. And the community always comes out and supports us in a huge way. So we're just looking forward to, to seeing what activities people pick this year. Well, thank you so much again, Jacqueline, for joining us here today. Thank you so much.